day three of the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters, and there was a feast of second round matches on offer. Those fans lucky enough to have tickets for Court Ranier Trois were all set for some of the biggest stars of the ATP World Tour. Defending champion Rafael Nadal began the defense of his crown against Britain's Carl Edmund. And Edmund quickly found out why Nadal is the best in the business on clay. Oh, that's magical. He is just so tough to put away. A six-love set inside half an hour and everything to do for the young Briton. But Edmund showed real hustle in the second set to move into contention. Oh, and he's made that as well. He can do no wrong. In a complete turnaround, it was Edmund who was calling all the shots as the match headed the distance. What a set of tennis from Carl Edmund. Edmund had yet to beat a top 10 opponent, but after he found himself a breakdown, the 22-year-old refused to be intimidated and came fighting back. And the forehand is electrifying once more. But Nadal drew on all his experience playing at the Monte Carlo Country Club as he moved a decisive break ahead. An impressive showing from Edmund, but Nadal doing just enough to get the W. The nine-time champion here in Monte Carlo gets over the first hurdle in 2017. But it was a difficult day at the office. World number one Andy Murray took on Luxembourg's Gilles Muller in his opening match. Having failed to capitalise on two set points and then being broken when trying to close it out on his own serve, Muller's game dramatically fell apart. Well, how many times have you seen a set like that from Andy Murray? Je... Murray once again dropped his opening service game, but slowly moved through the gears as the set progressed as he closed in on victory. Brilliant. The backhand once again producing a quality shot. A slightly scrappy performance from the Brit, but safely into the next round. Andy Murray's first clay court outing of the season proves to be a difficult one, but one that he negotiates his way through in the end. 2014 Monte Carlo champion Stan Wawrinka took on Yuri Vesely in another second round matchup. At this stage last year, Vesely knocked out Novak Djokovic, so Wawrinka knew he had to be on his game, but he quickly had his beautiful backhand working. A set behind, Vesely remained focused, and the left-hander reaped the rewards from a change of tactic. Oh, that's very skillful. Into the deciding set, and after securing a break of serve in the fourth game, Vavrinka pulled away from his opponent. Job done for Stan in three to set up a meeting with Pablo Cuevas. It's a shame to end it that way. Stan won't mind, though, doing enough. The 2014 champion here in Monte Carlo. There was almost another upset for Tommy Haas when he took the opening set against the ninth seed Tomas Burdick. But the German eventually succumbed, Burdick scraping through 6-4 in the third. Marin Cilic claimed his first Masters 1000 title in Cincinnati last year, and he was looking in impressive form as he raced through his second round match against Jeremy Shardy, 6-3, 6 love. Those fans hardy enough to brave the chilly evening conditions witnessed Jan Leonard Struff register his biggest win of 2017 as he defeated Bulgarian number eight seed Grigor Dimitrov in three sets, 6-2 in the third. With the second round complete and 13 seeds still remaining in the draw, the last 16 was sure to be something special at the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters.